And welcome back to Sunday Square Off. It was a tweet that no one saw coming, but could be a sign the Republican primary for governor will be a doozy. Republican candidate Ken Bennett tweeting this late last week, quote, I promise I will not appoint Cindy McCain to the U.S. Senate as governor of Arizona. That's an apparent reference to Senator John McCain's seat possibly coming open sometime as he battles terminal brain cancer. Less than one hour later, Governor Doug Ducey's spokesman, his opponent, fired back. We are honestly in shock that he would stoop so low and say something that's so clearly in poor taste. Ken Bennett has disqualified himself from consideration by anyone with any sense of decency. He should be ashamed of himself. After that, Bennett doubled down. You do not deny media reports that Ducey plans to appoint Cindy McCain. I am not afraid to say again, I will not appoint Cindy McCain to the U.S. Senate as Arizona governor. So a Republican candidate for governor thinks he's running against the McCain family. One of several weird storylines in the races to watch this fall as the campaign officially kicked off last week. Joining us to make sense of it all, Lisa Fernandez, Democratic consultant and vice president at Re Resolute Consulting, and Chris Baker, Republican consultant at Blue Point. Chris, put yourself in Ken Bennett's shoes. What on earth would he be thinking right now? He's trying to get attention. He's trying to get attention for a flailing, go nowhere campaign. What he didn't realize was we still have a senior U.S. Senator. Um, and talking about who's going to replace him or who's not going to replace him is incredibly poor taste. I mean, awful, awful thing to do. But isn't this a direct appeal to the Trumpers in a primary where you go after the base? And could that actually cause some problems for Doug Ducey? It could potentially cause problems. It is appeal to the Trumpers, but it's also a cheap way to get attention. Earned media, it's no one thinks Ken Bennett can win. So you throw out a tweet, people talk about it, and you get attention. On the Democratic side, as you watch this, are you saying you go, Ken? Uh, no, I, it was a disgusting tweet. It was completely inappropriate, but I would say, you know, Governor Ducey and his staff really are on their high horse about this, but they haven't said anything when Donald Trump and the White House and other people have disrespected John McCain and said a lot, a lot of awful things, but when it's their political opponent, they want to come and rise above it and talk about how he should be ashamed. So I, I think it's only talking about it when it's convenient for them to defend John McCain. All right, let's go to the McCain's seat. Very sensitive topic, uh, but the reality is this could come open in the next several months. We just don't know. The thinking was May 30th just passed. That was a deadline for filing papers to run mm -hmm. in the fall election. Does that mean it's there won't be a vote in the fall if the seat comes open before then? And now it's entirely up to Doug Ducey to appoint someone. I think it's pretty straightforward. The deadline has passed, and that means that this will be a 2020 election should Senator McCain, you know, resign in sometime in the near future. Um, you know, in the meantime, I really think that until until Senator McCain decides he wants to step down, that this is really a non-issue and is not going to be on the 2018 ballot. Agree with that? I do agree. It's not going to be on the 2018 ballot. Whatever appointment comes in the future will be a 2020 election. And this notion that Cindy McCain might get the seat, get the seat, if it did came open, come open. Do you buy any of that? I don't buy any of it. I, I think there are people close to McCain who would like to see that happen. I think they're talking to the press, but I don't think anyone is seriously considering, um, including herself, that uh, she's going to replace her husband. Okay. In the meantime, as of. Right now, Ken Bennett is still on that horse. We'll see how far it takes him. When we come back, the candidates who are suing you want your vote. What on earth are they thinking? Stay with us.